everybody. Uh, welcome to Friday. Um, it's good to see all of you. Um, I mean, hello. Well, it's actually quite dark outside. This is dark South Africa. Um, sun just went down. Um, look forward to exploring South Africa. Today we have um, Katerina al -Kemark. I made sure I could mm -hmm. pronounce that correctly, from um, Sweden. And it'll be interesting because Katrina is an ICU nurse and she's going to be showing us her artwork. I um, saw a couple of pieces uh, prior to going live and they were absolutely beautiful. I think you're going to really enjoy how she does what she does. Um, you can go ahead and ask um, Katrina um, questions. Is that right, Katrina? You want them on the front end, not, not just reserved at the last, so interactive? It's okay. Okay, so it's okay. Um, so with that, hello, welcome to Friday, Katrina. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hola, all the nice. one in the world. Nice to meet you as well. And I should be saying Katarina, right? Make sure, make sure in, Swedish, right. Okay. in Swedish, it's Katarina. Katarina. Okay. But you can call me Catherine. <laughs> it's it's okay. okay. Catherine. So welcome. Thank you. Um, we're going to see your uh, PowerPoint presentation so we can see some of the artwork and yeah. then we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to share screen now. Mm -hmm. We'd like our friends to follow um, you, Katarina. Catherine. Katarina. Okay. So, <laughs> this is Katarina's handle in Instagram. It's her name, Katarina Alcamar underscore art. She also has a Facebook page. Uh, that's again, her name, Katarina Alkamark Art. And yeah, earlier Katarina, I mentioned that the next couple of slides are your artworks and we'd love to hear maybe a line or two for each of these. We start with this piece here. Yes, uh, this is from Bronx. Uh, I used to paint flowers, a lot of flowers for many years. And I was a bored of it, of that. So I, I thought I, I have to paint another things. So I started paint picture from our holidays. Uh, and I started with New, with New York. Uh, it's an amazing place. And it suits me very well to paint from New York. I haven't uh, taken this photo, I borrowed it. Um, so this is from Bronx. And I like the the railways from from um, and the stairs and the the buildings and the light. So this is why I oh this one yes it's also from New York from Chinatown, and I think uh, oh I have a name for. The one I, I, I think his name is Constantine. And I borrowed the photo from him. I asked him on Instagram and he was so pleased. I think it's the first one I, I painted with the orange color. It's awesome. Yes. And this has Jay taken. Um, uh, this one means a lot of me because I, I just love the composition of it. Um, but I had to change the, the front page of the, the paper because I, I think it said uh, blood money. So I, I had to, to I, I did a little research on daily news front page pages from all the years. And I, uh, I um, fell for this one, it's on the mall. Uh, it says that um, the one who dies in 9-11 in New York, uh, they want the other one who died later on uh, to honor them as well. So that's the front page I choose. I think it's better than blood money. It's beautiful. Oh. Uh, this is John's <laughs> pizzeria, from, also from New York. This is a little funny story. Um, I found it on Instagram and uh, the count is another part of New York. And then ask in the, his um, DM if I can borrow it. 
and paint it. And he said, yes, and we sent some message forth and back, um, back and forth. And when it, it was finished, he wanted to buy it. Uh, and I, oh, you live in, in USA? No, I'm living in Stockholm, in Sweden. Wow. Yes. So, so I took it to Stockholm, framed it and took it to Stockholm and met him at the metro. Uh, and and we, we talked a little bit of, uh, little of that. And, and he, he said, oh, you live in Harbor. That's my home village. Yes, I do. Oh, my uncle lived there before. Oh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> and, it, and it was my neighbor. His uncle oh, was my wow. neighbor. And I thought he, said, he was living in, in New York for two months. And, and I live by his, his uh, uncle. It's a small bird in a small country I live in. And he bought it. And uh, I have borrowed a lot of paintings, from, uh, reference photo from him later on. And this is, I think it's a, the first one I painted with the lights. The lamp lights. Uh, my son has it in his kitchen, uh, and this is is a guy from uh, Ukraine who's taken the photograph. He, he was living in uh, New York when he took it, but I think he's living in Texas now. His name is Andre. Oh, thank you, Angela. Yes. Yes, this, I call this Hello Dolly because of the, the red sign up there. Uh, I saw the photo and, and I had to try to paint fog or mist. So that's why I borrowed it. And, and I have the name of it, uh, Ryan Miller has taken the photo. And, it, and after, I, I saw it. Um, uh, I posted when I posted, and after that he posted it on his Instagram, and I think he has uh, two point seven million followers. So it was an insane evening on my Instagram account. A lot of people wanted me to paint their photos. Catalina. Um, yeah, Catalina, we have a, a, a comment by Buffy, on yeah. our, one of our Buffy Kaufman. She says, wow, lovely storytelling in her paintings. Brings yeah. nostalgia from childhood, studying Norman Rockwell. Lovely works. Thank you. Uh, and this was a complimenting on, on your work. Thank you, everyone. This is the first one I, I painted from... Um, Absolutely the first one I painted. Uh, flowers before, and this was the first one. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And I, I, it's, a, it's a full sheet. I, I paint always full sheet. Um, so I had put, have to put it uh, upside down to paint it. So, I, mm -hmm. so when I paint the, the Sangha's hut uh, neon signs, the two people, I didn't know what, what I was painting. Mm. When, I, when I turn it on the right side, oh, it's people. I love the, the yellow cars in, in, um, in New York. It's good with neon signs and, and black streets. This is from San Francisco. Mm. It is. Um, right on. Very yeah. good. Let's <laughs> go. <Thank laughs> <you>. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say about it, <laughs> but it's from San Francisco. New York and San Francisco, two of my favorite places to go to on holiday. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, beautiful work. Thank you. I love the so... reflection on the bald head. Bald head? Yes. It's that painting, the, uh, the uh, John Spitzer. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's, it's really a challenge to to make that, and the neon signs as well. 
Excellent, excellent. So, so Katarina, not... would you like to show us what you're what you're going to paint today? Yes, I have prepared. Um, I think it will be this one. I start. With, I prepared three different subjects, um, but I, I think I will start uh, with the neon sign because that's who I am. <laughs> Small, small things and a lot of uh, uh, small, small details. That's my uh, kind of way to paint. Um, yes, and and um, you have you have some beautiful colors uh, to paint neon signs with. The pink is opera pink. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for the neon sign. <laughs> It is and and I think the green one is is uh, uh, fairly yellow, yellow green. I think is that one. I don't know if to see to see how to do like this. Um, and uh, could have um, golden golden uh, and the. Yes, they are really beautiful for for lights. Uh, I I used to to sketch it up with a projector um, because it's a time consuming to do it by hand. Uh, from spotlight, does someone want me? Maybe I can. No, it isn't spotlight. It's in spotlight now. So is it is it better? Yes. Yes. The artwork is on spotlight now. Yes. I'm gonna paint that. And I have, a, I have a lamp as well. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I I used to sketch it up with a projector, um, but the small small um, picture from Instagram is you got a lot of pixels. Uh, yeah. when you enlarge it uh, so but it's good for a for a lines so you can draw a line here and, and some uh, contour of cars and so and sometimes uh, you can see something but but only for the for the lines so so it's not being quirky or something like that um but i have my my, my way to paint is it's kind of uh, public friendly because. Excuse me. No, it's just that someone has your speaker on. Oh, uh, um, I I I'm put a lot myself. of layers uh, on my on my paintings, so it's time consuming. One painting takes maybe forty to sixty hours to do. Um. Well, I think I will start. Uh, Please. Yes, uh, I have. I'll show my my colors here. Uh, I have one big mixing area, and that's for my for my grays and blacks. Um, and and you see what it is. <laughs> And I have the reference photo here. So you can see how it's gonna be. And we try to, to do this area, I think. And the Kredokna and some brown is beautiful to mix for Or this one. So you see, it's really time consuming <laughs> to paint like this. A lot of the lay, lot of layers. And I have to. Katarina, do you use mainly transparent colors so that you can do different layers? Yes, I do. I think so. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, 
the black ones, I, I don't like to paint it with black by itself. I used to mix it with blues or purple or brown. Um, so it isn't so harsh, harsh black. So I think this, I think this is Forever 21 sign. It isn't so funny to look, fun to look at. So I paint from this area to that area and then, and then go back and paint. So I do like areas. Katarina? Yes? Uh, do you use uh, masking fluid at any time during the painting? Very rarely. Uh, I, I, I paint um, uh, negative and positive, but yeah. very rarely I, I paint. I, I put some, some uh, mask of fluid on this sign, right. uh, but not more. More precise work uh, rather than masking. Yes, when you mask. I, I'm not so, I need control, but not that, not so much control. <laughs> and I have to go, is it, go and, and paint. It is a, when this one will die, I have another one, I prepared another one. Katarina, is your paper on an incline or is it flat? Uh, I think it's maybe eight, ten degree. Um, okay. So it, it is a flat. Um, I think it, um, it's, it's good to have your wrist and your, your shoulder and, and um, your hand if you have it a little bit higher, some degrees. Is that hot press paper or cold press paper? Uh, cold press. Uh, cold this press. is sound as waterfall. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Copper smell. Is, is it possible to uh, zoom in a bit closer to the area that you're um, painting? Maybe. With if the I, camera. I have to put it like this. <laughs> well, just put your camera down a little bit. Oh, it's, it's uh, locked. Uh, yeah. So I can't, I can't do that. And, and here, here it's going to be a, a really black sign here. Uh, but I'm, I don't like black. So I mix. Ivory black and some some blue, dark blue. So so it's a little bit more life in it than just black. And I actually see what a painting. This is how I build up my, my paintings. There's a lot of layers, glazes. Katerina, we have a question in Zoom asking if you know what street that picture is from. I, I think it's Times Square. Is it uh, in New York? Is so this is an, I found it and prepared it for this, is an advertise for, from, for New York. You can find this, I, I think it's on maybe 20 advertising from New York using this uh, picture. 
So, so it must have been uh, be, um, from Times Square, I think. The sound I set is from there. You see, if you paint with blue and, and black, you see the difference? No, you don't. Oh. See, it's blue here, and it's going to be dark black here. It's bringing more life to the painting. I think everybody would like to know what kind of brushes you are using. Oh, uh, this is like a good one. something very small, right? For the number detail. Four. Number four. Number four or number six. Scoda Versatil, number four. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, number six as well, sometimes. Okay. And now there is some, some windows here. You have to put some. And I start with this one and, and after it has dried, I will go on with a new layer with a darker color. So this is some reflection, uh, some reflections in the window. So to put it on layers like this. So you never wet your paper beforehand, right? It's always on dry. Sometimes I do. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it depends on what I'm painting. Um, some areas need to have some wet area before. When I paint street lights, um, I used to wet it before and, and uh, and put some uh, colors in the edge on the, of it. Mm -hmm. Someone is asking if you're using your own photo as a reference or is it a copyright free photo? Uh, I wish I could use my own photo, but, but because of the pandemic, we, I haven't been able to travel. Uh, I, I found the uh, picture on Instagram uh, and I and I asked the owner, the photograph, photo, 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 <laughs> the one who taken the photo, uh, for permission to to borrow it. You have to do it, and and I can't compete with my paintings because I haven't take the photo by myself. It's a little bit of sorrow that, but when I'm, I'm able to travel again, I will take my own photos. I have uh, Anders in, in Stockholm, uh, um, the, man, the uh, man with a bald head and John Spitzria. Uh, mm -hmm. I have um, borrowed a lot of photos from him. My, I'm a, I am allowed, and he has bought them. <laughs> but he, he's taken the photo, and I painted it, and I he buys them. I think some street, some lamps here. This is it's not easy to <laughs> paint like. And you have, it says sunglass hat here, and I put some uh, cobalt teal, just a uh, brush stroke of it. So now I have to find my small sketch and, and bring the sun sunglasses hat. Katarina. Yeah. Have you ever tried uh, using this style of work with uh, gouache? No, I haven't. Oh. Uh, uh, I never tried gouache as well. <laughs> I think you might like it in in the context of what you what you're doing. Oh, I will try. 
I have, have to try that. I, I, I have one white uh, gouache, mm. so I can mix uh, with, with um, uh, watercolor if I need to, to um, I painted some dark area and need a uh, lighter, something lighter on top of it. Uh, then I use uh, white gouache to bring, so I can put some light glaze over a dark glaze. Does it say sunglass hat too? It's so in the comment from Marmel, Tokyo, uh, I think it's a woman. She says, I have a greater appreciation seeing your hand at work on a piece that is already started. Thank you for sharing your talent. Thank you. <laughs> and that was so cool. Same person says, that was so cool seeing the sunglass hat appear. Yeah. <laughs> It's so interesting to see you with the small details because last week we had a treat too, but the person was very loose yeah. and a lot of water and color all over the place. And this yeah. is so different, it's such a big contrast. So that's a real treat for us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is why I, I fell for a waterfall because you can do so, so a lot of different paintings and with the different techniques. So I, I can think that oil is kind of boring. <laughs> Sorry for all oil painters outside. Which one is this black or is it the mix of colors? Uh, it's ivory black and, and I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, Indian brown blue. Yeah. That's my, my favorite mix for black. Because which one is it? Indian blue? What did you say? Uh, Indian. Uh, Indian throne. Indian throne blue. Indian throne? Blue. Yes. Blue. With, with, with which one? With, with which other color? Uh, ivory black. Ivory black. Uh, ivory black. Because ivory, lamp black, lamp black is a little bit flat, or what do you say? Um, I really, you can see the paper bit. Um, uh, if you paint it I, with ivory back, you can see the paper. It's not so solid. So I think it, I have a, um, a yellow spot here in the in the. <coughs> Save it. Yesterday we had a very interesting live session looking at uh, black and yeah. the differences between the blacks and we learned quite a bit from it. That's worth having a look at. Yeah, black is, is a little bit different. Hard to paint with because it's so harsh. You see, mm. I put some another glaze over Sangha's hat, hat because bring it more. It's more lively if you do it like that. And now we can paint. Uh, I have to have some brown. I think I have my palette. I have the big one. Mix area is black with blues, and I have a big one with blacks with brown. So, so I can don't mix them together. I think it's some kind of So this is how I do some.
Katerina. Yes. Who inspire you uh, to do this kind of uh, watercolor painting style? It started with the, the uh, New York uh, with the two taxi cars. Uh, uh, um, it started with that, and maybe after two one or two years, I found uh, John Salminen and uh, Lori. Uh, I know her name, Lori Goldstein Warren. Is it? Uh, they paint. Uh, like this, so so how so brought bought a book from John Salmon. No, Sandra Sat. Have a no brown in my Sandra Sat. <laughs> Is it ever? I I think I, I think I'm my my English wins now. Katarina, Katarina, <coughs> if you could help us unmute the mic, please. Thank you. Oh. Uh, the phthalo green is really beautiful for, for neon signs. Roberto Castillo, who's from Peru, he says, it is relaxing to watch you paint and flow with your palette. Thank you for okay. sharing your technique and artwork. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and I, um, there is a sign uh, with, a, I think it's a swatch, a clock. And you mm -hmm. need some, some orange to do the, Swiss flag. So I, paint. You see, I, I don't use uh, masking fluid, but you have to be steady on your hand. Do it like this. And I don't bother is if it isn't really a straight line. That's how I paint. And we get a is a bending. And this one is in, is in shadow, so you have to put a darker. Right here. Something on the bottom. And I always have a paper tissue in my hand um, and use it really often. You can take some colors. So, so you have the light here. Uh, think of yellow, I think. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more lively. But the white is really harsh. Um, and the white in, in, the, in real life, it isn't so white. So, so the cobalt teal blue, I don't know if you're gonna, this is, will be okay because red is still wet. No, no. If you paint. <coughs> now the red <laughs> mixed up. It's good to have a paper to see. I don't know if you see that, but now the cross isn't so 
so white mm. and to build it up like that. Katarina? Yes? It's such a detailed painting and your others are. Uh, what, how, how do you cope with the trauma of uh, painting something and, and then seeing uh, a, a very big mistake or something like that or something that you've got wrong? Do, do you have to start again or, or do you try and uh, deal with it and alter it to your particular need? Sometimes you can do that. Um, um, it can be a part of it. It's okay. It, it hasn't to be exactly like it is in, in real life, my paintings. But but this is a sponge, a kitchen ah, sponge. Magic. This is really good. Yes, a magical sponge. Yes, it is. Melamine? <laughs> yes, melamine sponge, I think it's called. Or Yes. Is is really good, uh, and you can cut it in in small pieces. Mm. So if you if you want to give some more more uh, uh, mist here or smoke, and just mm. go like this. You see. It will disappear. And Nancy Smith calls that magic eraser. Yes, I, I, in Sweden we call it kitchen spawn. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can make some mist here. So, so you have to know your colors because some colors it or paper eater, I call them that, because you can't take it, them away. Um, uh, one of the yellows is really tough to get rid of. And you can go in and soft. You see, I have so much water in my, my color, so you got that harsh line here. I don't like that. You can use the spot, the uh, sponge. And, and another tool I use is a mouth of a mice diffuser. I don't know what you, what you call it. This is really good. Compass. Oh, this is um. Uh, yeah, you blow, no, you blow and it yes, you blow uh, this it, like a spray, uh, yes. mouth yes. spray, yes. something like that. Yes, if you don't have anyone, try to get it, uh, one because it's magic. And I, I use it's from my work. <laughs> yes. If it's the same sure as example. John Salmanen, if it's the same as John Salmanen, it, he yes. calls it a mouth atomizer. Yes. Yeah, it's an atomizer. Yeah. Yes, diffuser. I I search the internet now. You can buy them in in uh, you, uh, USA. Uh, I haven't found it in Sweden. I had for I think twenty years. I bought this one. And if you spray. The thing you don't want to spray, you see, I sprayed a lot. <laughs> Can just go, and this is cobalt teal blue. And you just start it up and. I, this is so, so light. I don't know if you see that. Uh, not very much, but yes. I mean... Katerina, my name yes. is Marielle Toek, I'm in Ottawa. I am so grateful that you're showing this because I bought one of these in a clearance bin 
I had yeah. no idea what it was. I just like the look of it. And so, but I haven't been able to figure out how it works. And so yeah. you, leave the, you leave the bottom part in the tube? Yes. Oh. Or, or, a glass, or, or, a, or a glass of a mixed color. Right, no, but I, but so the, the spray actually comes out through the middle of the tool, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> The bottom part is to aspire the paint and yeah. then you blow with your mouth and it comes after the first tube, along the first tube, yes. yes. Well, there we go. Mystery solved. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. You can do it with your brush or toothbrush. But no, I, I like this too. I also buy, I love to buy food that has no English on it and just see what happens. And yeah. Yeah, life is an experiment. This is, Thank this you. Is, this is really good because... It, and um, toothbrush or your brush, you get it randomly, but this is a, an even consistent spray. Uh, you can use it, it's perfect on, on streets. And if, if you have a boring, dull uh, area, you can mix a, a, a light uh, color. So, and, and the area, uh, will you will bring life in the area? George yeah. uses it a lot. Yes, yes, exactly with stencils. But remember, once we had problems with uh, an artist who inhaled and yes. oh, okay. with, oh, yeah. with with the mouth on the automizer, which <laughs> uh, which ended up as uh, a disaster because she had color all over her mouth. <laughs> Yes, I, I know, know exactly you, what that's like. If you, I don't know if you can see that uh, it's a little bit cobalt teal there. Is it? Is it? Is it not? Not a white, uh, dull area. Is it? It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So if you don't have anyone, buy one. Buy one. And I think I will will uh, leave this for a while. And I can show you to, I prepare this one and, and the street <coughs> here is really good without a uh, mouth out of my set. So here, I have a dark one here. This is, uh, I never clean my palettes, but sometimes you, you got dust on it and, and uh, some hair and other things, and you want to clean it. Um, I, I um, used to so take all the colors into, I don't know, samples like this. It's a, it's a good gray one. Yeah. Katarina? Yes? Uh, when you're doing individual paintings, do you do you assess how much colour is going to be in each individual painting? Because this one looks more monotonal than the last one. Yeah, no, I always ended up to I have to mix up new colours, <laughs> but but it's good uh, by that because. Um, if you change changing colors, the the painting will, will be more better to, to um, look at. If you have the same color in the whole painting, it's not so fun. But, but you who have bought the uh, mouth of of the mouse, now you will see how you do it. You see. Oh, that is so much better than what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and with my toothbrush, the problem is, is that I have paint splatters all over my beautiful yes. computer screen because the yes. toothbrush is not so specific. Yes, is, you can, can, if you have some paper, you can uh, protect your picture, your painting. So if this is good. I recommend this one. 
this is painting. I done a, a large painting of this one, and it was that window, and the guy is looking in, in his at his phone. Um, so I sketched up a, a smaller one. Uh, the lady who took it, the photo is Davina, and she's living in New York. I think it's, she's in Tokyo just now. And I, I, I just like the, the, this, um, the yellow, Queen uh, and gold is perfect for this one. Or burnt orange. But I, I want to show you the Primatech colors because they are really good for buildings. Can you bring the photo please in the middle? Yes. yes. Um, you see, it's really hard to do the, with a non-granulating color, but the Primatech is really beautiful to do painting things. And I think I use Tiger's eye. That's a good one. It's a little yellow, brown. And the, and it's doing all the job I wanted to do without any fuss. You see, now it started to granulate. This is this is a beautiful color for buildings. And I want the, the tree to be, I want the, the light here. So I have to save the tree. No masking. You just paint negatively. Yes, I do. Be control with your brush. Yes. And we talked about it a little bit earlier before we will go live. I think I'm a, I'm a person who needs control mm. in my life. <laughs> so I think this is why, I, that's why I'm painting like this. You see, this is beautiful. And you can go in with some hematite. Get some. Just drop it. Mm. Don't mess it, mess it around because the the color doing the job by itself. So let it, let it do that. Now this is a 12 brush. Versatile 12, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, and I now I'm changing the color to more grayish, yellow. So it's better change the color because uh, the light in, in the real life um, you have the same same color on the building on every side see it's good excellent yes and Barbara, she's using Tiger's Eye. She's Excuse asking me? which Primatech. Barbara's uh -huh. asking which Primatech you're using. Tiger's Eye and how much is? Tiger's Eye, yes. 
And Piemonte is really good for buildings as, as well. And Sedona, I love Sedona for roofs. And, and I, we have a, in Sweden, we have a lot of uh, um, red houses with, with uh, white um, frames on the window. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a special color made in uh, the middle part of Sweden. It's, it's called Fall Red Fire. It's, it's um, red paint from Falun, from the from the miner, the copper mine. Can you say the name again? Uh, Fall Röd <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and, and you have it in, in uh, your, uh, I can't remember the- uh, It's the environmental it friendly ox, I think it's the environmental friendly oxides that approximate it. Yes. Oh, environmental yes. friendly. Yes. It's the same color. Friendly. Yes. Oxide. A lot of houses in Sweden it's painted. So it's good to, to have a paint. So you can paint the right red. It, it's, it's ironish, iron and, and I think it is, it is a harsh or clear red. It is a brownish red. Uh -huh. Katarina, would you yes. be willing to speak? Would you, this is Anna Marie Stephenson again. Uh, would you be willing to speak a little bit? I guess oh. how you have such a meditative process, and it, we can all be, we're calming down and really seeing the meditation of your process of painting. Can you yes. speak, as you were saying earlier before the interview, about the role art has played in your experience as an ICU nurse and dealing with the stress of COVID? Yes, but, yes, but before COVID, I, I paint, I think, almost every day. You need to do that. So your brain still has its connection with your hand. Uh, the first wave in Sweden, uh, I'm, I'm an ICU nurse, so you know what I have been done this year. Um, so the first, first uh, month, it was okay. I, I came home and, and just painted to relax my brain because of everything uh, that was happening at work. Uh, and the summer was good. Um, I, I could uh, relax and, and so, but uh, the autumn uh, the, with the second wave and the third wave and the fourth wave, um, it is really hard in Sweden. So you didn't have a gap between the waves. So I work uh, 48 to 63 hours per week for a month. Yeah, from January to, to August. And that almost, my, my brain was so tired and my body was so tired. So I couldn't paint. I couldn't be, be, be creative. So it's what, I was really sad about that, but, but I couldn't. I needed some inspiration to be creative. Um, so I started painting again this November, last November. So I didn't touch my brushes and colors for almost one and a half year. Mm. Um, Must have been hard. Yes, it was. But I'm, I'm starting to heal now. <laughs> we are. Um, so, and this was a friend of mine, uh, their son was getting married and they asked me to paint a picture from their summer house in the west coast area of Sweden. Uh, so the, so the, they say, oh, that's our, uh, that's we who made you to paint again. And I think it was. And it worked. I, I found the joy again, painting. Um, but um, I have lost a lot of uh, uh, connection from my, my heart and my brain to my hand. So I had to recap that. During that period uh, that you were starting to get back into your art, did you have a, a feeling of uh, rustiness that... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I still have. 
I, I, yeah. I think we've all probably gone through that during uh, lockdown. It's it's like made his brain slow down a bit. It does mine anyway. Yeah. yeah. It is a really hard. Everyone was uh, was hit by the COVID uh, in different uh, um, perspective. Me working like maniac. If someone wasn't able to go outside, so so everyone has suffered a lot of things because of the COVID. That's true. Yes, and and I, I think it was in April 20, 2022, you uh, posted my, uh, I posted on Instagram, uh, me in my, my, my um, breathing mask and, and uh, cap and, uh, and, uh, and the other picture was me painting. And, and I said to everyone, please stay at home, be inside. And you posted on your, your your Instagram, and and it was really touching. So thank you for that. Mm. That's great. Yes, you see. We have Barbara, uh, no Barbara. Sandra has asked a couple of times. She's very curious to know what brand of projector you you use. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's it standard. I, I think it's a uh, bank projector. I'm asking my husband. I, yes, my, my sister bank gave it to me see. because she wanted to paint it from, from San Francisco. So gave it to their, their old ones. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so I don't know. Bank, I think. Yes, I think. B-E. Uh, e and Q? Yeah, now see, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the old one. Is it good? It's doing what it's supposed to do. Giving me, oh, this one I have sketched by hand. Uh, but uh, the, the first one is with the projector. I think it would, it would take two months for me to to do that by hand. Katerina? Yeah? I'm very much interested because you're a very highly detailed artist. Yeah. Uh, we ask this question of all uh, our guests. Uh, when do you feel that you're finished? When I'm bored with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the right thought. I the, the last two days I painted it. Oh, I feel sick about it. I don't want to paint this anymore. So I I say no. Now it's finished. I want to do it anymore. But I have it on my my. I haven't a studio. I have my my son's old bedroom. He's living in Gothenburg. Uh, so I use his room. So I have a a table and my colors and some lamps. That's my studio. So I have. I used to put it on his bed uh, for two, three weeks to um, and look at it if it's finished. Mm -hmm. and so I can, so I can see if, if uh, missing some highlights or some uh, shadows. So I'm brushing my teeth and looking at it. And I have, I have, um, I haven't framed the latest one. If you want to look at it, I show. Sure. The other ones before is could you just show briefly that one yeah. closer to the camera so we can yes. see yes you can if thank, you. thank you it's lovely work in negative space negative yes uh, and you see uh the color is doing the job by itself mm. and you, yeah, can really really, you can go in side here if you want some more. Do you find that um, eye detail paintings like this need uh, a much more uh, stronger frame around it? I usually uh, frame it with a black one. Black? What, did you black, keep it? A black frame. 
Excuse me? Do you just keep it simple? Yes, a simple, a simple black frame. Yeah. The tree is you paint it? Is the tree? No. Excuse me. Uh, uh, is the tree going to stay negative? Will the tree stay negative or are you going to paint the tree? I'm going to paint the, the tree. Right. It's going to be, I think uh, I will mix some, some uh, purple and, and brown for the tree. It's a good with. Um, Here we can mix some. I can, I have to. This is my favorite brown. So. Some purple and some some brown. You see this one. The color that that is brown and and um, purple. And now some for some. Uh, Give it some life, it's a little bit of a hematite. I don't know if I can paint this. Yes, it does. Do you ever go over these paintings with a, a light wash? Uh, yes. or Shadows. Yes, I, I do that uh, when it's uh, um, when it's completely dry. Yeah. Uh, I always go uh, because the line. Uh, I take some blue here to mix it up. Mm. So you have a sun spotted area. Hi, Katarina. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Do you always use a projector when you sketch the paintings? The big ones. The big ones. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, because, but but you can't. Is you got a lot of pixels, so you can't. You can only use it for for the big lines like this one, like that. And, and you have to go after that, you have to have a finger on the computer screen and, and sketch it by hand. So because Katarina, I want to thank you for being with us today. Your work oh. is absolutely gorgeous. And when, when you get bored, I yeah. finished, will you post yeah. those so we can see that the, the final product? This one? No. The, the ones you've been working on? Yes. Sure, if it takes can, a while. I can show you the one. This, this one is from. Wow. This one is a Finnish one. It's beautiful work. Fabulous. And 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 I painted wow. because it it was so peaceful. Yeah. I, I I think I saw it one or two years ago on um, Instagram or I, or was it Pinterest? I don't know. And I, I usually paint from cities and places I've been to, uh, but this is from uh, Ragoon, Burma. I don't know which one you prefer to say. Um, so, uh, and I haven't been there. So, mm. and, and that was my rule before. I only paint from, from places I've been to. But uh, this one is so, so peaceful. Yeah. They are sitting it's there beautiful. waiting for their time. It's beautiful work. Yeah. So I had to, to paint it because this one means a lot of me because uh, I need some rest. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, thank you for joining us. 
Thank it's, you. It's been wonderful watching you. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you for all the questions, everybody. And Thank you. We'll see you all next week. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your husband. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye.